Hey everybody, this is Brooks Sanders. I just got back from NAB 2010, and one of the biggest questions we had in the TechSmith booth was, how do I use Camtasia Max screen recordings with my traditional video tools, things like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, After Effects? People wanted to use the screen recordings without having to export from Camtasia Mac into another format that Final Cut Pro or Premiere would understand. It's actually possible to do this, you just have to make a couple of very painless hacks to your system. In order to be able to see your Camtasia Mac recordings inside of your professional video tooling, you'll need to copy something called the TSDR component into the QuickTime folder. So in order to find this, we're gonna to come to the Applications folder, we're gonna find the Camtasia app, and we're gonna go ahead and Show Package Contents. That will open up uh, a number of files in here. I believe we're in the, uh, the Contents folder here, right here, then the Resources folder, and if we scroll all the way down to hit the T's, we're looking for something called the TSDR component. There it is right there. Go ahead and copy that. And then you need to come to your system. You'll need to come to the library. You'll need to find the QuickTime folder here. So I'm gonna hit Q, there. QuickTime. And we need to copy that TSDR component into this folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and Command V there. And that component's now in there. Now just to make sure that we're working here, we're gonna go ahead and double click on a screen recording file and open it up inside of QuickTime to make sure we can view the files. So we'll come back and we're gonna find a screen recording uh, application bundle. Uh, you can find these either in the temporary location where Camtasia Mac stores temporary recordings, or you can come to a, a Camtasia Mac project file. And these are actually application bundles, so you'll need to show package contents again. And you'll need to come into the recordings folder, and we'll find a CM rec file. This is actually an application bundle again. These are the recording files. And we'll go ahead and show package contents again. Inside of this, we'll find something called Screen MOV. Now, normally when I double click and try and view this inside of QuickTime, I'll get a note that says, hey, you don't have the codex uh, necessary to view this video. But you'll see this time when we double click on it, it'll actually launch the QuickTime player. I'm gonna take this full screen. And you can see right there is actually my screen video. Uh, it's lossless content. The, the recording size is actually very small. I'm gonna go ahead and escape out of this and we're gonna go ahead and quit the QuickTime player. That's gonna make it possible for this MOV to be imported into Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, uh, and for those video recording tools to be able to, to manipulate this file by itself. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually copy this out of the application bundle, copy this video file, and we're gonna come into another folder. We'll copy it into this project folder I've got set up. And we'll call this, just rename this. And we're gonna go ahead and launch Final Cut Pro. So we'll go ahead and import, file import, files. We'll locate the screen recording file. And it was that FCP underscore example underscore screen MOV that we had uh, pulled out of the recording application bundle. So we've imported that in. Let's go ahead and drag it down onto our sequence here. Now, one thing to remember is that screen recordings are made with square pixels. These are not anamorphic pixels. So you need to make sure that your, your sequence settings are set up correctly, and you need to make sure that uh, you're using the proper codex for previews, frame rates, that type of thing. In most cases, you're gonna have 30 frames per second. You're gonna have this TSDR is the codec that you're gonna be using and square pixels. Hey, thanks for watching. As you can tell, it's super simple to bring your Camtasia Mac screen recordings into your, the video tooling of your choice. If you like this tutorial, I've got lots of others up on my site, or you can visit my YouTube channel www.brooksanders.com or www.youtube.com slash brooksanders. Until next time.